Hi Clarinets, thanks for tuning in for another video. Today we're in Accent Book 1, page number 16. On today's page in the upper left hand corner is the term retardando and the abbreviation RIT. It means to gradually slow down a tempo. Also is the symbol called the fermata, a half circle with a dot. It means to hold that note longer. And finally, pickup notes. Pickup notes are notes that precede they come before the first full measure in a piece of music. We'll get lots of practice with our pickups today. The first exercise, number 54, is called Patterns with Pickups. Here's how we'll start. I'll count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then we'll begin playing the note C for our pattern song. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. How did you do? And if you're still warming up, we know that you can rewind and do it again to keep warming up. If you made any mistakes along the way, I would say try it again as well. We want to make sure that we're getting everything out of each of these exercises so that we can give, build mastery on our clarinet. To get some more practice, we're going to do number 55, Carnival of Venice. This song also has a, a pickup note. But what's different is this pickup is a little bit different in 3-4 time. Here's how we'll start this exercise. I'll count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And then we'll play the pickup note. We're in groups of 3, so we're going to be playing our pickup note where 3 belongs. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. If you made any mistakes, go back and try it again. You'll be glad you did because you'll make progress. Next up is one of my favorites on page 16, Jolly Old St. Nicholas, a traditional carol. Lots of eighth notes here, one and two and one and two. Here we go, ready, play. <laughs> You can play that one as many times as you'd like for fun. I know it's a fun one for me. So now we get to do the snake charmer. And at the end of the snake charmer is our fermata. We're going to hold that last note D a little bit longer. And just before we do that, we'll slow down a little bit with the retardando symbol. The snake charmer has a pickup, just like some of our others did today. This pickup is a little different because it's two eighth notes. I'll count like this. 
one, two, three, and then we'll play four and with our pickup notes. I'll count the three. Here we go. One, two, three. Did you hear us slow down and hold that note longer? Great. Now, if that was an exercise that was a little tricky for you, you'll need to practice it a few more times. Don't just move on. Get everything out of every exercise. It's for your own growth and good. Next up is Bill Grogan's Goat, a funny title for a funny song. This is an American folk song, and it's got three pickup notes. To start, I'll count one, two, three, four, one, and then we begin playing. One more thing, Bill Grogan's goat has an F sharp in the key signature. So all of the notes that are F will be played F sharps in Bill Grogan's goat. Let's start. Can you remember all that? Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Did you remember your F sharps? If you did, great, well done. If you forgot, try it again and change those F naturals to F sharp. Our last exercise is number 59, accent on clarinet. Here we go. One and two and three, four. One and two and ready, go. For more exercises like number 59, go to page 42 and try exercises three and four. They're a little bit more challenging and will help you grow with your individual technique. And I hope that you'll give them a try. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope I'll see you again soon. Keep practicing.